what's going on guys, Devin Ergo here and today we will be playing the Grand Crossing once again to showcase the Gladiator Morph. Now the Gladiator Morph is one of the three newer morphs, the last of the third, that I need to showcase. So let's get into it and see what this morph's all about. So, the Gladiator Morph is a little bit less than the Mercenary. It's about a hundred, uh, 200 less than the Mercenary, uh, because it comes out to about 1,300, making it more expensive than the Dark Knight and Assassin, and uh, I believe Marauder as well. So I believe it's the fourth least expensive morph in the game. Because, uh, no, sorry. Crusader is only 50 less than it, so it's the fifth. But let's see if, you know, if it's cool or not. So unlike the Mercenary Morph, the Gladiator Morph does not have two sides. Uh, so hopefully it has a bit more to offer, since really Mercenary, that's the big thing that it offered, was the ability to help out the TNI or not in a super awesome looking morph with some cool tools. Uh, let's hope that the Gladiator has uh, even cooler tools to use. Alright, so the Gladiator has access to the Gladiator weapon, the minigun, health orb, and an M16. So first up, let's start small. Let's start with the health orb. Do I throw this or use it? or Let's try to get damaged. Okay, yep. Come on, damage, please. Don't try to snipe me. This won't work out well for you. Oh, I think I can heal other people with this. Yeah, I can throw it to other people. That's that's actually really cool. Let's Oh, no, actually that guy's a bad guy. Let's throw it to this guy. Health orb on cooldown. Okay, so I guess it has a cooldown. Alright, so here's my ult again. You're looking nice with those sunglasses. Who knows, maybe it'll change it up one of these days. But he's ready to get shot. So let's try out the minigun first. So the minigun does about 8 damage every hit. And it has a very fast fire rate and a hundred ammo per mag, so it should do a lot of damage. Excuse me. I really hope that he doesn't kill him. Hey! 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 Okay, good. That's what I thought. Don't mess up my showcase. And let's see how much the health orb... Nope, it doesn't work on him. I think the health orb heals in, uh, fully. It might not. It might heal only half. But... Now that we got him to low, we gotta let him uh, charge back up. All right, guys. So he's fully charged, or not fully charged, fully uh, healed. So let's try. This is a new one. What's this one do? Oh, it just activates and unactivates that. Let's try activate. Does it do anything? It might do something for KOS teams. I'll try it out. But it's an insta kill regularly. There he goes. Thank you, Alt. That'll be all. Uh, let's try this out on a KOS team, see if attacks or something. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Don't ask me. It's the first time trying this morph. Well, I can't really find any KOS team to work on. I believe it damages them uh, from a distance, like if they get close to you. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. I think I've seen it. But you could try it out for yourself if you buy the game pass. Uh, now we come to the part, is it worth it? Long answer short, not really. Of course it depends on your preferences. The minigun's pretty good as a weapon, and the health orb's pretty good as a healing device. Um, and the gladiator, you know, it's, I believe, a longer reach than a sword, and it's pretty cool looking. But does the morph have everything that I, I thought it should have? No. Does it even, is, does it have a jetpack? 
it does not have a jetpack, so... And I looked and it said that it has a push ability? Not sure what that means, but... Oh, let me try... Does this do anything? No? Okay. <laughs> Guess I can't push them like that. Like I was saying, is it worth it? Not really. If you're low on Robux, Roblox, or Robux, sorry, don't get this. Get the Mercenary. The Mercenary is much better than this morph, but if you don't have that last 200 Robux to get the Mercenary, then get uh, this. I guess if you if you want a cool morph, it's it's cool looking. Uh, it's got a mini gun, which is pretty cool, and a health orb, and a cool little axe. But and if you don't have that Robux for this, or if you need a little push uh, for limited time, I have a giveaway going on for 1,000 Robux. Go to my video on this update overall. Uh, it should be labeled a thousand Robux giveaway and then watch the video through and do what it says to do in order to participate in the giveaway and after you've done that you're in and I might do I might do two winners I might only do one it depends I do have to save some Roblox Robux why do I have trouble with this Robux for Nighthawk City which will be coming out and that I'll be doing so many videos on it's gonna be a great time uh, and you wanna be ready for those videos too because you know, they're going to be awesome, so be sure to subscribe and like so I know that you're hyped for those videos and so that I know that you like this one. And uh, join the Discord if you'd like. It's in the description below, as well as my Roblox group, which you can also join. You'll need to be in the Roblox group in order to participate in the giveaway. Spoiler alert, I do include that in the video. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I might not. But, uh, yeah, so... Join the Discord, it'll be a grand old time, and I will see you guys next time. Have a nice day.